Mioja. My Emperor, sorry to interrupt, but I have finished reading your fortune. I foresee that your end will not come from outside, but from within. A young red-haired man by the name of Isaac Angelos will be the one to destroy you. Are you nuts? How could that young useless nobody overthrow me? I mean, do any of you know who the hell he is? I've heard his name before, but I don't think he has the means to destroy you. He was just someone that played around with my late husband. Exactly! Now, let's get back to what we're doing. There are more important things to think about. Especially now that a lot of our generals had turned on us. And then I just heard that Thessaloniki had fallen to the Normans. Sir, I believe this is really serious. We must go after this Isaac, especially now that everyone can just turn on us. Well then, go and arrest him, Stephanos. Go get it over with while I eat these lizards to be young again. I mean, can't you see? I'm already an old man. I'm sure you want me to be in power for the next 40 years. Excuse me, sir, but aren't you Isaac Angelos? The emperor is placing you under arrest. Yes, that's me. And why? On what grounds is he arresting me for? Doesn't he know who I am? I'm Isaac Angelos, a member of the aristocracy. I'm a great-grandson of our emperor's grandfather. If the emperor wants me, then he should have not sent some lowborn like you. The emperor is away on vacation, so he asked me to get you. Now, come along with me before this gets bloody. Yeah, whatever. Let me just get my things. Man! Who does he think he is? Beware of our emperor! He attempted to kill me! You might suffer the same fate too! Everyone, head to the Hagia Sophia! My nephew Isaac and I have something special for all of you. My Emperor, my prophecy was right all along. The people in the capital are now rioting in favor of Isaac Angelos. What? How could they? How could they all abandon me for, for that kid? Are you all right? What happened? <sighs> we, we all need to get back to Constantinople at once. Tell my wife Agnes that we're going. Fellow Roman people, listen to me. What I did had to be done. Our mad emperor was out to kill me. Do you know how many he's killed? All our most competent generals are dead because of this paranoia. My father and brothers were forced to leave out of fear that Andronicus would go after them. If we let that madman continue ruling us, then I'll be dead too. And so would any of you, just for simply questioning something of his.
And can we even trust you as our ruler? Yes, I know it may be hard for us to have another emperor again. I mean, it was just three years ago, when you all rallied behind Andronicus because he thought he championed our proud and sacred Greek identity against the corruption brought about in our society by these foreign Latins. But guess what? He doesn't give any damn about you or your feelings. He was only using that so that he could take the throne from my late friend Alexios II, the young boy ruler. And yes, he did get his way. Now that he got his way, he no longer cared about you. He only cared about keeping himself in power. And that's why he brutally purged the elite and killed off all our best generals and ministers so that no one can stand in his way. I mean, look, he is a pedophile out of his mind. He even married a French Latin who can pass as his granddaughter. Does this show that he was true to his word? That we would be an all-Greek empire? Do you also really think our emperor Andronicus is all invincible? I mean, has he done anything about the Normans, who may be at our doorstep any minute now? No! This is why I beg you all to carry out civil disobedience, turn against this madman who thinks he is invincible, and march in the streets! If my great-grandfather Alexios I Komnenos came to power this way more than a hundred years ago, then so could his grandson Andronicus just three years ago. And so could I, or my Uncle John, who is our Emperor's cousin, do the same thing now. If either of us is named Emperor, then we can really promise you all that we are truly here to champion our proud Greek identity! Isaac! 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 Polata e ti tu basileios e sacchios! Polata e ti tu basileios e sacchios! What's been going on, Godwin? Where are the rest of the guards? Why is the place so empty? My Emperor, people have been rioting in the streets since last night. I'm afraid they have all turned on you. And so have a number of the Varangian guards. What? How could this happen? I thought I had the support of the people. Uh, I, I say we should escape across the sea to Asia. We, we could be safe there. Yes, but let's get our things first. Just bring enough for the meantime before the unrest here in the capital will stop. I believe this rioting will die down in a few days. When my only loyal general left, Alexios Branas will arrive to teach them all a lesson. I believe you were all inspired by what I said. Now, do you really want someone young and inexperienced like me to be your emperor? Because I think my Uncle John here can do the job better. John, I really think the people want Isaac as their emperor. Don't worry about his age and lack of experience. We as his uncles will be there to guide him. Yes, I agree. I'm afraid I would be too old for the job the same way Andronicus is. And I never wanted to be emperor in the first place too. So this is it. Patriarch, get the crown and place it on Isaac's head. I humbly accept the crown and my responsibilities to serve each and every Roman. So help me God. What do we do? The people have already stormed the palace and not shot in Isaac's name. Agnes, my wife, these things happen a lot in our empire. It's just who we are. If not for the angry mobs, I would have not become emperor three years ago. The people really support me. They just feel that I didn't do my part against the Normans. But I soon will. You see, if I kill off Isaac, then maybe these people will calm down. Only the rich really hate me because I took away all their special privileges and I killed many of them too. And why wouldn't I? They do nothing but make deals with these greedy Latin merchants. They hate me too because 
they just don't want to admit it, but I'm better than them. And I will show them all that I will be the emperor that will live till a hundred and return greatness to his empire. The mob is coming for us. We must run. Okay, both of you, head to the docks. I'll gather the Varangians and disperse the crowds. There he is! Cato Andronicus! Cato Andronicus! Cato Andronicus! Vlachs! Moros! So, it looks like the mighty Andronicus Comnenus was not invincible after all. I will not kill you though. I'll let the people decide on what to do with you. Listen here, you good for nothing idiot. I can tell the people don't want you in power. It's only the corrupt aristocrats that do and have bought off the people to support you as emperor. So they can return to their old corrupt practices that I worked so hard to stop. I mean, do you really know a damn thing about running an empire boy? or? <laughs> Do you just know how to party and have fun? This is all I have to say. It's because of you why our empire no longer has capable generals. Hence Thessaloniki fell to the Normans. And soon enough, they will be outside the walls. Now you got what you deserve, you psycho. And not just that. You have shamed my family and the Komnenos dynasty as a whole. You forced my father and brothers to flee all because they were from the elite. And then you sent someone to kill me, and I killed them out of self-defense. And for all these people you tortured and killed in your two-year reign of terror, this is simply payback! <coughs> now my people, give your former emperor the justice he deserves! can still do better. You all supported me before. Again, I beg you, stop this! Shut up! You're not our emperor anymore! Time for the final blow! 